<clears throat> our next topic we're just going to touch on real quickly is shear flow. I'll be honest with you, I, I usually skip this topic. I haven't taught this one in quite a few semesters. I don't have all the notes here. So let me just give you a brief, uh, <clears throat> briefly, briefly going to touch on this, um, and then we'll move on. Uh, so <clears throat> for members that are built up or members that are... Uh, <clears throat> bolted in, you know, the top piece is nailed in, this is welded on, uh, it's important to know the shear uh, right here <clears throat> where it's being held on. Uh, but <clears throat> many times this shear stress is not, it, if it's not glued on completely across that uh, thickness right there, the nail is the only thing holding it into place. All right, the nail is the only thing holding it into place. And the nail is the only thing that is going to take on that longitudinal stress. All right, we talked about transverse stress, but transverse stress and longitudinal stress, the stress that's in that longitudinal direction is the same as the, the VQ over IT, the, shear, uh, the transverse shear stress. Um, so <clears throat> if our shear stress is V... VQ over IT. This is assuming that the whole thickness uh, combats that shear force. You know, this is assuming that the whole thickness um, <clears throat> is acting on that shear shear force. But if only the nail, if only the nail is going to take on that shear stress. Uh, then it might be helpful to calculate the shear flow, and it's not really a flow, uh, but the shear flow, <clears throat> lowercase q, we're going to call it, is VQ over I. So it's like VQ over IT just without the T. All right, it's like VQ over IT without the T. Um, and let's think about the units here. The units here, this was pounds per inch squared over here. This is just pounds per inch. <clears throat> so it's really how many pounds of shear force uh, per inch we have in the longitudinal direction. All right, so here's, here's where we're going to use this. Here's where we're going to use this. If we have a uh, beam, if we have uh, an object, if we have any uh, material that is kind of held together by nails, and if we know, let's say we know the force each nail can take. We know the force per nail. That nail is strong enough that that nail can hold together a force of this, you know, many pounds. <clears throat> and we could say, you know, newtons per millimeter or something like that. Let's, let's talk about that, units here. Sorry. Units could also be newtons per millimeter squared, right? <clears throat> or newtons. So our shear flow would be newtons per millimeter. If we know the force per nail, and or maybe we also know or could know or want to calculate the spacing spacing of nails for instance hey, how many nails per inch here we go and I'm doing a terrible job because we're, we're not going to have to use this <clears throat> but the shear flow Q uh, could also be the force per nail times the spacing. Okay, the shear flow could be the force per nail <coughs> times the spacing. Let's look at the units here. Um, let me do pounds per inch. If my Q is the VQ over I, right? VQ over I, it could equal force per nail times the spacing of the nails. <clears throat> the force per nail would be pounds per nail 
The spacing would be how many nails per inch. So this, so knowing that Q equals VQ over IT and knowing that Q can equal the force per nail times the spacing of nails, <clears throat> then maybe, maybe we want to know the spacing, you know? Well, if we know the Q, the shear flow, and the force, how strong these nails are, then I can tell you the spacing. That's generally how, um, how we um, <clears throat> would do these problems, all right? Or if you know the spacing that you want to put them, and you know the Q, uh, then you can find, okay, what type of nail do I need if I want to put them right here? What type of nail do I need? All right, so anyway, shear flow um, is VQ over I, and it's used when members are, are not, when the stress is not fully uh, distributed uh, over that thickness. Um, if it's only into the nail, then Q is equal VQ over I, and that VQ over I equals the force per nail times the spacing of the nails um, so that we can, you know, figure out, okay, what type of spacing do I need right here? Or we can find the, you know, f find some other things. We, we're not going to have to do that. I did a terrible job. Uh, but just want to touch on that um, before we move on.